What's going on guys? It's your boy Ben. Welcome back to BH Aquatics. If you're new here, make sure you slam that subscribe button, like this video, even though you haven't seen that much. If you want to see more kinds of videos like this uh, in the Guppy series that I plan to do, you know, the like button will always help you, so it lets me know. Um, now, like I was saying there with the, the likes, I um, am really significantly thinking about doing a uh, Guppy series just because, I mean, my entire fish room is basically guppies except for one couple of display tanks. Um, so I'd really like to get more in depth into what I do, my personal guppy hobby, rather than going out and doing care guides and fish room tours and stuff like that. Um, so as I was saying, likes would really help to uh, let me know if you guys appreciate that stuff too. So. Today's topic is going to be on uh, sex and guppies. Now, I know this really isn't a difficult thing for most like seasoned seasons uh, guppy breeders um, like myself. Uh, but I remember when I first started guppies, or before that, when I first wanted to start breeding guppies. My first question that I had was, how do I differentiate the males from the females? Because that is the most important thing. It's pretty much how you breed guppies, because if you have a male and you have a female, then if they're both fertile, you're most likely going to have babies within a month. So real quick, this is a male. The green arrow is pointing towards the anal fin, the yellow arrow is pointing towards the pectoral fin, and the red arrow is pointing towards the pelvic fin. This is a female. The yellow is pointing towards the pelvic fin, the red is pointing towards the pectoral fin, and the green is pointing towards the anal fin. So now you're probably wondering why it's important to know the finish of the guppies. In the males, you'll notice that the fins are far more pointy, and the anal fin, which is uh, pointed out with the green arrow in the pictures shown earlier, um, the fin is the pointiest um, on the uh, body of the guppy. And on a female, which is also pointed out by the green arrow, uh, you'll notice that the anal fin um, is in a fanned out shape, rather than a pointy stick straight one like the males. So wrapping things up real quick, the male's body is much slimmer, more colorful, and its fins are much more pointy, whereas the female's body is rounder, a lot less colorful, even though that it does have uh, some color on its tail, um, and its finnage is much more rounded. So there, the anal fin on the female is round, the anal fin on the male is stick straight, it's nice and pointy, um, and it can be kind of difficult to see the males until they're about three to four weeks old. So I'd give it some time if you are breeding guppies um, and you're looking to sex them early on in the game. Uh, it's always time, just be patient. Um, you'll finally get there after a while and uh, Overall, it's it's a pretty great experience. Um, so, the reason why I'm talking about the anal fin and the reason why it's it's so important is because that is the most surefire way of sex and guppies. If you see the fanned out anal fin of the female and the pointy uh, anal fin of the male, you can differentiate the two very easily. Um, so, I mean, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. I know this is, that was kind of like, we just kind of stopped at a wall, and then now I'm closing the video. But I, it's a pretty simple thing to explain, and uh, if you guys really need to understand it a little bit more, I definitely recommend attempting, um, not attempting, but just going back in the video and re-watching um, the different things that I told you. Uh, because it, if you get them down pat, um, you will understand how to sex them and it will make breeding guppies super easy. Even though that it is pretty easy in general, it make it far more easy um, getting started. Uh, now, something I do want to point out real quick is that you'll notice the pelvic fins. I pointed out to them um, in my arrow pictures, but you can't actually see them. They are there on all guppies. The reason you didn't see them is simply because they're clear. Um, again, the pelvic fins are kind of like the <laughs> they're the fins right behind the gills of the um, uh, of the guppy, and uh, the pectoral fins are the two that are like a little bit more colorful that are on either so side of what the guppy's pecs would be if you're kind of like looking at the bottom um, of it. And I mean, it's all shown in the picture, but just so you can understand it, uh, 
the anal fin obviously is the last fin in between the tail and the uh, pectoral fin. Um, just for those of you who can understand it a little better if I say it that way. Um, so, like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, it, it was pretty fun. I'm hoping to do more um, in this guppy breeding series um, in the future. So make sure you leave a like if you want me to do that. Without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll see you guys next Sunday.